Hey y'all, uh, it's August the 4th, 2018, and y'all, before I start out this video, I want to say that we're going to read this here article, and before we do, I want to mention that this article is wildly irresponsible, alright, and the person, Mr. Tim Swift, who wrote the article, should be ashamed for himself but I have the feeling that he does not understand shame All right, before we dive into this article and go ahead and read it it's of a medium length I want to assure you that it is a waste of your time and it's a waste of my time All right. I hope to only do this once because it's um, an apparent waste of our time to be honest just wanted to read it to get it out in the open and show you the absurdity and the the frankly the retardation that is firing on all cylinders here R redacted portions of Cruz's report paint portrait of disturbed student now you're gonna have, find countless articles that don't exactly show you the report you have to dig you have to really uh, sift through because all you're gonna find is reports that talk about the report. All right, you're gonna find articles that mention the report, like this one. Don't really get into too much detail, but like I said, it um, it's meant to be a distraction. It's meant to have no merit. It's meant to be a waste of your time, and that's what it's doing. All right. So with that being said, let's go ahead and waste our time for a little while, right? Alright, this is by Tim Swift. It says, redacted portions of a report on the Parkland gunman's time in the Broward school system. Paint a portrait of a deeply troubled student who shows signs of progress only to slide back into old behaviors. Now, before we get into this article, you should already know what it is. Uh, you know, but just in case if you're unfamiliar, basically this article is going to try to do what many articles are going to try to do and they're going to explain the situation in which of course nick shot up everybody we don't need to see evidence or anything like that of course he did uh the school is also to blame however nobody from the school is going to go to prison all right but the school is also to blame because they dropped the ball however nobody's going to do anything about it or say anything about it People like Tim Swift are just going to sit here and complain like a little girl. And you ain't got no sort of recourse. So like I said, let's read the rest of this article because that's what it's going to be. You know, as a spoiler alert. Throughout the more than 15 years Nicholas Cruz spent in Broward County School System, staff members reported uh, violent outbursts and antisocial behavior in which none of this is going to be described in detail to you. This article is a complete waste of time. All right. Uh, the person writing the article should be investigated for retardation. All right. And maybe put into an institute. So, like I said, but they're not the only one. There's many people writing these silly little, stupid little articles. So, throughout the more than 15 years, Nicholas Cruz spent in Broward County School System. Staff members reported violent outbursts and antisocial behavior, uh, but others noted per periods where Cruz's behavior and academic performance markedly improved. All right, so Nick Cruz is an average person. Ah, oh, well, that's, that's groundbreaking. Thank you, Tim Swift. The document was redacted, but an electronic copy made public by the school district still contained the information underneath the blacked out portions. Oh, is that what redacted means? <laughs> uh, the report commissioned by the district and conducted by the Collaborative Educational Network of Tallahassee suggested the school district mishandled his case during his last two years of school. And before we go any further, none of this even matters. All right. If you, ha if you know what priorities mean, if you know what the word means, then you understand there's priorities here, all right? You might want to figure out who shot up the school before you, 
you try to figure out all the nooks and crannies of Nick Cruz's life, right? None of it matters if he didn't shoot up the school. But like I said, man, people <laughs> people are focused on things that don't even make sense. Um, the redacted portions of the report provided a detailed narrative of Cruz's time in school from pre kindergarten to just before Valentine's Day mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. That left 17 people dead and more than a dozen others wounded. For some reason, people are very confused as to how many people were wounded. It may or may it be it might be anywhere from 12 to 17. Who knows? Who really knows? Who cares? By the way, the report said that Nicholas Cruz began receiving uh, services from the school district at three years old. This three years old little. I mean, I know three year olds. Right. I've I've known three year olds before, so let's go ahead and st let's go ahead and just keep going. The report said that Nicholas Cruz began receiving services from the school district at three years old after he was asked to leave a pr private pre kindergarten because of his behavior, including kicking and biting. Listen, <clears throat> they're talking about a three year old little child. All right, none of these details are anywhere near appropriate. Nor do they get us anywhere. Nor do they tell you anything about Nick Cruz at all, period. All right, you're talking about a three-year-old little kid got kicked out of class for kicking and biting. You're trying to say that as if it's even uh, relevant to this uh, whole situation, and it isn't. The district placed him in a special education program called Exceptional Student Education, or ESE, some silly, stupid name. Because of behavioral and developmental issues. Okay. So so Tim Swift, he's going to give us some real insight. Well, here's what we really need to know about the animal fantasies. In case this couldn't get retarded enough. During his early schooling, Cruz struggled with aggressive behavior and had animal fantasies. Hmm, that sounds interesting. The report said, leading the district to have the boy then five years old evaluated by a psychologist dude i mean if this wasn't a waste of our time already i would be forced to ask you oh my god you took a child to a psychologist over being five years old and pretending to be an animal that's what y'all did that's what y'all did all right the student seems to identify us <laughs> Uh, somebody actually wrote, a student seems to identify as an animal. Well, he probably didn't know. There's all sort of animal genders now. I mean, you could be anything you want, right? It's 2018. He's just before his time. That's his problem. The student... <laughs> Let me read this quote. The student seems to identify as an animal. He often crawls on the floor or, or ground, passes on <laughs> another student makes seemingly animal-like growling sounds and grimaces while holding his hands in a paw-like manner. See, this is when they took him to the psychologist. <laughs> so with high levels of reinforcement, the behavior is reduced, but, it, but his aggressive behaviors appear to be unpredictable. Thus, positive behaviors could uh, not be constantly reinforced, said the evaluator with no name. All right? While Cruz's academic performance gradually improved, his behavioral problems persisted, the report says. Oh, that's a cute picture of him and his brother. Another evaluator noted he cannot organize himself to adapt his misperceptions and expectations. Thus, he engages in fantasy as his means of coping with these feelings of stress. I mean, basically, he's describing a child what children do. All right, when they go through periods of stress. Mind you, he saw his father, his adopted father die in front of him. All right, but, you know, let's not even mention that. The student is also impulsive with no sense of boundary. Thus, he acts out his fantasies, often explosively, in expressing his feelings of stress and anxiety. As though any of this has anything to do with the Parkland shooting. Like any of this is, like any of this information, like one word of it is relevant or even worth considering. All right, none of it is, but let's continue. The cruise, the cruise attended Coral uh, Springs Elementary School until fifth grade. 
uh, while under the ESC program, which including counseling and language therapy, as you imagine, a lot of autistic people had to get language therapy, all right? Uh, they have trouble with words for many different various reasons. We're not going to get into it right now. But the report noted that Cruz's mother, Linda, was intensively involved with Cruz's counseling and schoolwork. That, that sounds good, doesn't it? So while Cruz had trouble controlling his temper, a staff member in 2006 gave Cruz a mixed report. This is another staff member who doesn't have a name, doesn't need a name. We don't need, we don't need to know who says what. We don't need evidence or anything like that. We don't need any of that. The student can demonstrate a very sweet demeanor, as a lot of people have said. I mean, I've heard him described as the nicest person people have ever met. I've, I've literally heard that. So anyways, he has friends in the classroom at times. He has difficulty interacting with peers. He can perceive them to make, be making fun of him when they are not. You're describing an autistic person. Congratulations. All right. Oh, y'all, y'all, <laughs> y'all are breaking through. Y'all are making so, so much major breakthroughs with y'all's uh, observations. He is very inquisitive. Oh, really? He is able to transition smoothly from one task to another with much encouragement and prompting. He seems anxious at times. He strives to be perfect, and when he makes a mistake, he can get frustrated, which may lead to an emotional outburst. It's like, dude, you're saying nothing. All these words mean nothing. You're describing a typical autistic child growing up, all right? And this is supposed to be relevant to anything. This is supposed to, like, mean something. All right, so in 2007, Cruz's behavior took a turn for the worse. For the worse? Really? Let's read about that. At one time, at one point, he had been, he had to be removed from the classroom a minimum of four days of week. You know what's interesting? And I'm going to note it right now. Let's read that sentence over again. At one point, he had be, he had be removed. <sighs> Ooh, he, he had be removed from the classroom a minimum of four days of week. L look, all right, this person is so dang retarded. First of all, he's not talking about anything that even matters, period. None of what he's saying is relevant or appropriate to be talking about right now. Not only that, his job, his, his where he makes money is to write articles for this damn local paper he doesn't even know how to use spell check he doesn't even know how to use grammar check all right that's how absurd this is that's not the that's not going to be the only absurd grammatical mistake that's going to happen this guy's job is to do this and <laughs> And I don't even know what to say anymore. So Cruz demonstrated behaviors that lasted in duration as well as intensity. Oh, oh really? Said the report said. Oh, really? The following year, Cruz was evaluated yet again. The review found clinically significant levels of hyperactivity and aggression in addition to anxiety and depression. Oh, really? Oh, really? Uh, tell us more. He also reported that he almost always feels... That his life is getting worse and worse, and he used to be happier. The evaluator wrote, "Dude, every last paragraph of this is just—it's not even necessary." All right? Yeah, I mean, you might as well. Uh, that's me. Oh, guess what, dude? How many people's lives are getting worse and worse, and they used to be happier? How how many millions of people in America do you think? So as he left elementary school and moved on to West Glades Middle School, his teachers noted a marked improvement in his behavior and academic performance. His mother was pleased with his progress and was impressed he was using big vocabulary words. Every single paragraph that I'm reading has nothing to do with anything, mind you. All right, This is someone just merely typing in words to make money. Teachers reported fewer outbursts, but noted that he struggled to make friends. Oh, really? He's autistic. Oh, man. It's something like, I guess this is all new to y'all. I guess, I guess uh, this is your uh, unfamiliar territory. 
So he's very quiet in class. He will not go out of his way to make friends. However, lately at recess, he's been playing games with his peers. Many times he needs to be asked by others to socialize within a group. One report read. See, this whole article, all it could really do, I mean, all it would have to do is say, Nick Cruz is and used to be autistic. And the end. That, that would have been the end of the article. And who would have needed to read a dang word else? All right. None of these words have any meaning or any use. Starting in 2012, Cruz's behavior declined again. He started to receive in school suspensions after he repeatedly used profanity and, attri- and addressed a teacher by his first name. <laughs> That's actually just funny. That's actually pretty funny. By seventh grade, he received his first out of school suspension after fighting in the cafeteria. Oh, he must be a murderous killer. During this period, school officials recorded 19 significant incidents, including when Cruz set off a, a, fire, a, a false fire alarm. But as he reached ninth grade, Cruz found new purpose and, be, and the behavioral problems subsided. He told teachers he wanted to go to, into the military and graduate from a regular high school, which seems to add up when you think about it. I mean, Nick Cruz liked weapons. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He wanted to be like, he wanted to kind of fit in and just go to a regular high school. Later on, he talked about going to a trade school and things of this nature. He was an average guy, basically, and he still is. All right. Although his teachers, now at Cross Creek School, were pleased with his improvement, uh, their reports sounded, uh, sounded notes of caution. Cruz was described as being goaded into jumping off the back of a bus. Like, like we've already discussed, Cruz could be convinced to do things. All right, perhaps dared into doing things, if that makes more sense. Into jumping off the back of the bus, into uh, setting off a fire alarm, into shooting off a shotgun out the window. I mean, he was, he was convinced to do a lot of things. In another incident, a classmate punched Cruz after he used a racial slur. Like, n- none, of, none of the details they're bringing up have any merit. Like I said, it's, it's inconsequential. Why would you bring up that he used a racial slur as if it even mattered? How, how does that, like, for, for real? How does that have anything to do with what we're talking about? Oh, Cruz is a racist. So, you know, he's a racist. And then, you know, so he killed people. Uh, <laughs> I don't even understand how Cruz could be racist, to be honest with you. I have not one clue, but let's go ahead and continue. Ultimately, his teachers recommended he uh, be transferred to a mainstream setting in Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Cruz gradually transitioned to the Park Lane High School, uh, taking two classes at Stoneman Douglas while receiving counseling service at Cross Creek. By January 2016, Cruz was attending Stoneman Douglas full-time. His teachers there were initially pleased with Cruz's progress. The student has shown that he, had, he, he could be a model student. See, that's the thing about it. You're going to get quotes like, oh, he's the nicest, one of the nicest guys I ever met. He showed that he could be a model student, this and that. He was wonderful at work. People loved him at work, this and that. He had friends. Like... <laughs> So they're going to keep saying things like the student, the student has shown that he could be a model student. He has been removed himself from his peers that are engaging in negative behavior. He takes responsibility for his actions and follows directions. He has learned to advocate for himself and has done very well with asking for assistance. A report noted at the time, it's like, dude, they're, they're describing to you the same person in those selfie videos. Who hated the world, who had an undying love for Angie, who's a made up person. Alright. So, by his second year at Stoneman Douglas, Cruz's behavior and grades declined significantly. Uh, by then, he had turned 18 and was entitled to make his own decisions about his education. Alright. Reports of suicide attempt. M- mind you, this is all hearsay. Like, none of this is proven. But in September 2016, he was disciplined for fighting. Oh, well, that, that part was proven. That same month, teachers reported that Cruz was using profane language and drew a swastika on his backpack. 
It's like, dude, none of these details even matter. Your racism, your swastika on his backpack, none of it matters. You understand? He couldn't even be a racist. Closest person to him in the world is half black, his brother. None of it makes sense. His last name's Cruz. Y'all are retarded. Y'all are over-the-top retarded. It's what it is. It is what it is. At the same time, he told a classmate that he drank alcohol and cut himself. It's like, dude, oh, really? That's not a quote from anybody, right? You're taking a word from some classmate somewhere who has no name who said he drank gas. People don't even drink gasoline. <clears throat> Y'all all the way retarded. People don't even drink gasoline. People huff it. All right? If they do that. And he may have cut himself. That has nothing to do with what happened at that school. The district immediately intervened and conducted a suicide assessment. However, Henderson Behavioral Health and Youth Emergency Services found that Cruz did not need to be committed. I mean, you're going to get detail after detail telling you, okay, he doesn't need to be committed. Oh, he can be a model student. Oh, he is a nice person, a very nice person. Oh, he is withdrawn. Oh, he is kind of autistic. Oh, maybe he isn't very social. Maybe he tries his best to be. You <laughs> All these details over and over and over and over. They're expecting you to just forget it. The report also confirms that the school district knew Cruz wanted to own weapons. It's like, that's a paragraph all onto itself, isn't it? That Cruz wanted to own weapons. Just, just by Cruz wanting to own weapons, that makes him a criminal. You understand? You understand? That whole paragraph said, oh, Cruz wanted to own weapons. What does that mean? Does that mean anything? No, of course it doesn't. Mother was called this morning, and all the incidents were discussed. Student is begging mom to get him a Florida ID so he can buy a gun. Mom thinks it's not a serious matter at all. The Youth Emergency Services team and Henderson was called in a report noted. So, <clears throat> a young man told his mother he wants to get an ID so that he could buy a gun, and his mother... Uh, didn't really see that as much of a problem. And so they called in <laughs> some government team to come look into it. Because what he said to his mother, that didn't upset his mother at all. By November 2016, the staff at Stoneman Douglas started a process to move Cruz back to Cross Creek School, where he would have more access to mental health services. However, Cruz, now 18, refused to consider the transfer and his mother's supported decision his decision. So Cruz decided, well, I, I just want to graduate at a regular high school. His mother said, okay. And I don't know, somehow people had a problem with that. Continuing to clash with students and staff and failing most of his classes, Cruz withdrew from St Stoneman Douglas in February 2017. He would not return for more than a year. Whatever that means. Returning what? In what capacity? I have no idea. From Stoneman, Cruz, uh, Cruz would move on to two vocational schools. He had few outbursts or problems in these new settings, but Cruz was cut off from special services of the ESE program. At one point, Linda Cruz asked the district if he could return to Cross Creek School, where he had excelled, but the district determined Cruz was no longer eligible for the program. Ah, oh, mean... Uh, people in the district, they said he couldn't, he was ineligible no more. So the overall report cites this as one of the school district's biggest mistakes in regards to Cruz. See, that's what they're going to dwell on. That's the whole point of this whole article, that sentence that I just wrote to you. The overall report cites this as one of uh, the district's biggest mistakes in, in regards to Cruz. In other words, had they given Cruz maybe a couple more weeks, a few more months of counseling. Had they done that, which they refused, uh, Cruz wouldn't have shot people, shot 17 people in cold blood to death and shot all sorts of other people. If they would have just gave him some... See, that's where the school district messed up. Had they gave him a little bit more counseling, it would have convinced Cruz to not shoot up 17 people and leave absolutely no evidence behind. All right? So his mother died in November. Oh, I forgot to say. Without access to counseling, Cruz's life deteriorated, of course, and his mother died in November 2017. 
He was asked to leave his new home after he refused to give up his weapons. All right. On Valentine's Day, Cruz ordered an Uber. Apparently, allegedly he did, and returned to his regular school. But this time, he was armed and prepared to kill. That's a great way to end the article. You absolute retard named um, Tim Swift. The thing is, I don't like to bully people or anything like this. But Tim Swift is unapologetically wasting all of our times. He's, um, I forgot to cover all the different grammatical errors. I guess I just kind of compensated for them, but there was a lot of them. Tim Swift absolutely does not know how to put sentences together. He doesn't know how to put details together. Anything like that, man. And that's why I had to call him out. If Tim Swift wanted to have like a, um, a conversation... A real conversation about this whole thing we could but tim swift just wants to do hack jobs and he wants to basically phone it in he doesn't want to hardly put any work into this he wants to make his little headlines and write about stuff that doesn't even make no damn difference at all meanwhile like i said the whole point is and him and countless hacks across this nation are going to write the same exact article the school district failed us. The school district failed us. But meanwhile, there's nothing that we can do. There's no, re there's no recourse to take anyways. There's nobody that we can literally point at them and blame them for the situation. The idea is, is that we're supposed to um, throw Nick Cruz into jail for life. No evidence required at all. Number two, we're supposed to complain about how the school district could have done more to help Nick Cruz. Uh, we're supposed to complain and complain and complain. But meanwhile... Nobody's going to get fired. Like, nobody's going to jail over it. In fact, nobody could. There's no way to do that. There's no way to put people in jail for this. All right? For simply dropping the ball the way that they did. And, and we could blame them all day long if we wanted to do it. It's going to get us nowhere. In fact, it's absolutely a distraction from what's really important. Who killed those children inside that school allegedly? want to know I want to know Tim Swift couldn't care any less all right you couldn't you couldn't pay Tim Swift to care at all all right him and all sort of nameless uh, jabronis out there right right for their national publications getting all sort of money why to waste our time it's August the 3rd 2018 or the 4th and I'll holler at y'all later I just had to get that off my chest, man. I appreciate y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all a little bit later.